same time this is decided by the priority interrupt priority interrupt is basically a mechanism which says if multiple interrupts are coming at same time then priority is given to which one so this is known as priority interrupt let's discuss these questions in detail in next four slides so very first thing is to understand how a particular interrupt is in execution so as i said the interrupt request is coming to the cpu based on the interrupt request the device has been recognized by the cpu and then based on the nature of the interrupt the cpu decides yes it is required to execute it or not as it is mentioned here the processor receives the interrupt request this is also known as irq irq means interrupt request over the control signal so this information is available in the status register if the status register value is 1 it means a particular device is requesting for a raising a particular interrupt so this is about the interrupt request and the interrupt service routine is there that can poll the io devices means there are multiple devices so out of that the permission is given to which one so this is ab about the interrupt service routine based on that the polling polling of the devices means there are five devices among the five devices they are selecting okay the priority is given to the device number 2 I think this part you have already studied in unit number one in bus arbitration. If on a bus there are various peripherals, that which peripheral device is able to send the data via bus. So this is a part of bus arbitration which is covered in unit number one. So uh, it's a suggestion to just have a look to that lecture so that you will be easily understand the concept of uh, priority interrupt here. So in this manner, if a particular signal is generated and it is its value is 1 so in this case a uh, cpu is actionable to perform a particular device now when we talk about the priority that how we are assigning priority to a particular device among five devices if five devices are asking for an interrupt then the priority is given to which as i said this is something which is done with the help of polling there is one more mechanism daisy chaining i hope you remember the name uh, it's a recall of unit number one that we have the concept of this daisy chaining where uh, one by one the interrupt is going to all the devices the bus is there and based on that value if one device is unable to or don't want to send the data then the control is going to the device two so here let's have a look at how the interrupt is raising and what are the process in defining a particular interrupts and the execution of interrupt this is the same example where the program number one is in execution and one by one it is going to execute at ith point the interrupt signal generated now the control is goes to that particular point and this is the interrupt service routine which takes care take care about all the code which is there in the interrupt for example the interrupt is battery low so in this case a pop-up message will come here suppose there is a, another mechanism okay you have deleted the antivirus now your system is at risk just click on this restart now so these are some types of interrupt so in this case when we talk about the interrupt the higher priority code is coming here and from this point this particular program one comes to the halt condition and this interrupt service routine is going to be executed so this is the execution of a particular code once the execution of this code is done again you can see this arrow again come back to this program one so in the memory you can say this location will be saved because in the memory there is a process this is say my memory here the ith location is stored this is the program which is in execution and once the halt the interrupt generated the halt is done and the state is saved here pcb process control block is there which stores the state okay right now it is in waiting state so this thing is going to be stored and once the interrupt is done then the same state is going to be restored and the execution is started again resume again so this is a way how the interrupt and the priority is done but when we talk about the various devices all the devices carry its own signal line 
So this is also carrying its own line. This is also carrying its own line. Suppose there are P devices or N devices. So the N signals are there and out of which a particular processor come to notify that okay this device is going to create a signal. So here each and every device has its own priority level and when we talk about these priority levels so here the priority arbitration is a process like we have bus arbitration here the pro priority arbitration is there which is similar to the bus arbitration part. So let's see this part that what is the process in this priority arbitration so the working is same as the polling and daisy chaining. So yes as I said this is a part which is already covered in unit number one. So just refer this part for the better understanding and clarification. So I am moving towards the next part the types of interrupt which is an important part. Here in CPU we have two categories one is the hardware interrupt and another one is a software interrupt. Hardware interrupts are of two types. One is maskable and another is non-maskable. What it means? Maskable interrupt is something if I have generated one interrupt means I am a device IO device suppose I am device number one and this device one has generated an interrupt signal interrupt request to the CPU and it is of higher priority suppose another interrupt is generated by device two if it is of higher priority my interrupt will stop halt and then this interrupt will take over. So this is maskable. Maskable means I am doing something and there is one another higher priority interrupt which is coming here and the priority is given to it. So this is maskable. Non-maskable means I am a device who already generated an interrupt and I am in execution. If another higher priority interrupt is coming, we are talking about the interrupts. Process is already in the halt state. I am interrupt one and interrupt 2 is coming it is not allowed to execute because I am already an interrupt I am a faculty and when the work is done only then the second faculty will come. So in this case this type of interrupts are known as non-maskable interrupt okay. Another category is of the software interrupt we will see this part that what are the software interrupts what are the exceptions. So let's discuss about the maskable non-maskable. So in hardware interrupt the signal is generated by the external device or the hardware of the system. So here the processor knows okay this is a hardware interrupt like this is an example that we are talking about the control alt and delete. So this is a hardware interrupt which is generated by the uh, keyboard here. So this is as I said this is of two types maskable and non-maskable interrupt. So here maskable interrupt the hardware interrupt which can be delayed when much higher priority interrupt has occurred to the processor. So as I said if one interrupt is going then the another process uh, another interrupt of higher priority is coming here. So the value is given the CPU is assigned to the higher priority one means interrupt over interrupt. So this is maskable. Non-maskable if our interrupt is already running another interrupt is coming it will say no I am also an interrupt and I won't allow you. So this is non-maskable. Let's have a look to software interrupt. Software interrupts are something which is due to the programming code. For example, divide by zero means in my computation, I have done something like A is assigned as one, B is assigned as zero and I am saying A divided by B. So in this case, we are saying one divided by zero. So in this case, there is no, there is no excuse given by the hardware. This is a software part. This is an error in my code. Now CPU is unable to deal with this. So a pop-up message is coming to the screen that comes to the software category here. So this is known as something normal interrupt means if there is something some issue in our code in our program or my code or program is giving some prompt message. So this is normal one. Another is known as the exception. Exception is something yes the same coding problem but there is error in the code and this is not considered as a specific error or a mistake yes in a code the prompt message is coming to the screen but when we say okay the battery uh, your battery is low is a hardware interrupt and if we say in a software the file is crashed so this is something which is 
coming to our screen okay this is one interrupt or a patch is available means uh, update is available so these are things some normal interrupt normal software interrupts are there when we come to this exception one this is an example where the errors are coming means my mistake like out of bound index so in this case i have not defined something and it is coming here the value error syntax error these types are known as the exceptions we have also seen when we are doing the code the programs uh, in on the on the compilers in c programming java python then we have seen these are the exceptions which are coming on the screen so let's have a look to these exceptions basically there are three major categories in this one is the debugging one another one is the recovery from the errors the errors are coming and we need to recover from it and another one is the privilege one privilege one means i have a privilege of a specific theme and i am going to uh, enter into the another area like i am a student and i want to fetch something which is uh, authorized to the faculty only so in this case a prompt message will come so this is another exception let's have a look to these three when we talk about the recovery from errors so we have seen there are so many data storage errors in the system and we need to recover it so these type of things comes under the recovery from errors there are again one more point when we talk about the processor takes the same steps when we talk about the io interrupt because in io devices they are generating the signals and signals are again encountered to a particular software program so that program is generating a error which is come to the exceptional part here the generation of the interrupt is from the hardware but the program which is interacting with the device is coming to the software exceptional part now when we talk about the another category so that is the debugging part as i said here some trace points or breakdowns breakpoints are notified where we can say okay this is one checkpoint we have seen these things in our windows operating system there are some software which say yes this is not compatible with this so these are some debugging errors when we are going to compile it another one is privilege one as i said we want to attempt something we want to access to some some programs which is beyond my area as i am a student and i want to upload the marks so teacher has a right so in this case the prompt message will come so this is all about the exceptions so if i summarize everything what i have discussed yet so it is basically about the hardware and software interrupts so this is about the exception we started with the interrupts interrupts has advantages disadvantages we have seen what are the questions raised by the cpu what are the challenging areas what are the solutions and how we can differentiate among the hardware and software interrupts important question is difference between maskable and non maskable interrupts so this is all about the interrupts thank you